Today is a day of celebration, marking over four decades of ministry as a pastor. We also celebrate our pastor and our First Lady's 30th wedding anniversary. In the heart of every man and woman, God places purpose. It's up to us whether we embrace it, act on it, and obey. From a young age, Rod Parsley knew a call was on his life. And because he obeyed the call, the purpose was activated in his life. As a result, countless lives have been eternally impacted. Over the decades of his ministry, Dr. Rod Parsley has fulfilled the roles of teacher, prophet, evangelist, our pastor, and now apostle. When we were blind and couldn't see God on our own, we saw God through your actions. When we were deaf and couldn't hear God on our own, we heard God through your voice. When we were confused and didn't understand God, we wandered in need of a shepherd. We looked for guidance and God brought us you. Good morning, everyone. I'm Elder Marion Schrock from World Harvest Church Elkhart. And this is my lovely wife, Brenda. And uh, good morning, and obviously greetings from Elkhart. Good morning, Pastor. As you know, for the first 28 years of my life, I sat under Dr. Lester Sermall's ministry. And at the end of his ministry, he wrote a book called I Did Not Quit. So I want to thank you today for taking I Did Not Quit to a whole nother level. I have seen you, I've seen you, Pastor, go through some things and deal with some devils that even Dr. Summerall didn't have to deal with. And you did not quit. The lights are still on. You're still here preaching. <laughs> The book I did not quit spoke of, you know, all kinds of different challenges, and I've just seen so many different ones that you've went through, and I, I just admire you. And there's been times in my life that I've wanted to quit and throw in the towel, but because you did not quit, I did not quit, and I move forward in the things of God. Amen? Amen. So thanks for your boldness, your intensity, your integrity. We now have a growing church in Elkhart, Indiana. <laughs> And we're not gonna back down for anything, and we are determined to take that city and that region for Christ. Amen. Miss Joni, thank you as well. Thank you for never, ever, ever giving up and for supporting our pastor and for being there and being the greatest example that any, uh, uh, any, any wife could be to a pastor. Thank you so much. God bless you much from our Elkhart family, from our family to yours. God bless you, we love you. Before anyone knew, God gave you a vision to place the jewel of a soul in the crown of our Savior. It's always been about people and God's love for his people. Good morning, everyone. My name is Bethany Eckfeld, pastor. When I was born, the doctors told my family that I was blind and I could not see. You prayed over me, and at that moment, you saw for me. Now I can see. Not only can I see, I graduated from Walt Harv er, Harvest Preparatory School. And now I am employed as a nursing assistant there. Today I am an artist, and one of my pieces will be on display in the near future at Franklin Park Conservatory.
I also volunteer at Kid Harvest Preschool, and of course, I help care for my special siblings at home with my parents, elders Tom and Linda Eckfeld. <laughs> Look at how many lives I have touched because you touched me. I love you, Pastor. I love you so much. I am so proud of you. We came out of the valley, and now we're able to overcome mountains because of your lead. You've taught us that's no mountain for a climber. Good morning. My name is Sharice Conley. Pastor. Pastor, as a member of Royal Harvest Church for the past 15 years. I've had the honor of watching you as a leader, my leader. I considered myself a leader in the food service industry for 20 years, but it wasn't until I began to work for you at Valor Christian College that I understood and began to listen and watch you in meetings that I knew that to become wasn't just enough to be a good, a good leader, but I needed to become a great leader. And to become a great leader, I needed to learn how to truly serve. Therefore, today, I choose to serve with the passion that I do because of how you served your pastor, Dr. Lester Summerall, World Harvest Church, and Elkhart, Indiana. You released a word earlier this year, upgrade. This has also challenged me to go from a good leader to a great leader and to work with a purpose. So pastor, I honor you today because of who you are, but also because of your vision. I want you to know that your vision is being carried out in the classrooms at Valor Christian College every day. Your vision is also being carried out across this country and around the world. It is truly an honor to work with our students every day, knowing they will leave this place carrying the vision that God placed in your heart. So today, sir, I honor you, and I thank you for allowing me to serve you, to serve your family. I love you, Pastor. Your example of dedication to family has been a roadmap for our families. We understand that through it all, no matter what, God is love. Good morning. I'm Elder Fred Burston. This is my lovely wife, Mary. This is my Harvest Prep grad daughter, Kennedy. This is my other daughter, Brittany, and her uh, husband, my son-in-law, Eric. <laughs> and these are my two beautiful grandchildren, Zion and Eris. We've been a part of this ministry for over 20 years. And pastor, we're grateful for a lot. Um, I'm glad that I came here over 20 years ago because I needed a lot of understanding in my life. And you brought a lot of that understanding to me so that I could bring that understanding to my family. The understanding that I not only needed to receive a vision, but to have one for my family. The understanding that real men and women are committed to God, family, and church, and they don't vacillate with the direction of the wind or their feelings. You've taught me those things, Pastor. You taught me the way up is down. You taught me that to truly be blessed, I had to be a blessing, Pastor. Those are some wonderful things that I've used in my life over 20 years, and I'm truly grateful for your example. Pastor, you taught me that we don't move 
based on our surroundings, that we walk by faith and not by sight. And because of those things, I've been able to help raise a family in a godly environment, and I'm truly grateful for that. The understanding, Pastor, that obedience is better than sacrifice. <laughs> uh, that'll preach. And the giving of my time and resources so that the gospel can be preached is entry-level Christianity and my reasonable service. Finally, Pastor, I want to make sure that you know that the fruit of your labor is evident in my family. It's evident in my family when I look at how beautiful this is. It's evident in my family when I look over at the pews and I see them sitting there worshiping God. It's evident in my family based on the fact that if we hadn't come here 20 years ago, Pastor, I wouldn't have received life-changing ministry in order to raise a family in a godly environment. Pastor, if you hadn't have built Harvest Preparatory School, Brittany and Eric, Brittany and Eric would not have come to this school. They would not have met. They would not have had children and married, and yes, in that order, without condemnation or judgment from the church, for which I am truly grateful, and I commend you in this ministry. Pastor, we thank you for this ministry. We thank you for this godly environment. We want to say thank you and we love you for your obedience, for your labor of love, for your life sacrifice that very few people know just how much of a sacrifice that really is. But I've had the privilege of knowing on a personal level. We really do love you. We love this ministry. You have no idea of what you mean to me and my family. Thank you. When we needed guidance, when we couldn't see, when we needed an example, when we didn't understand, we could still hear God through your voice. Good morning. I am Lisa Brunson, and I have the wonderful privilege of being the director of music here at World Harvest Church. So, with that being said, Pastor, in September of 2001, I had just been here on staff and living in Columbus for a couple of months. So basically, I was the newbie on the platform. I had just turned 22 years old, was way skinnier, and had really long brown hair. <laughs> I had been leading worship and playing in the only other church I had ever known since I was 13 years old. But this music department, this was a whole different level. The ability and the musicianship on this platform was something that became, quite frankly, really intimidating to me. And where I had once been fearless and unafraid to do whatever I felt like God wanted me to do, anxiety crippled me every time that curtain went up. Until one Sunday. Until one Sunday, in the middle of your message, you stopped, walked over to me and said, stand up, the Lord has a word for you. So right over there on that third seat, I stood up and I was shaken in my boots, y'all. I walked down to where he was and the whole time I'm praying, oh God, forgive me for anything I've done wrong, any sin that might be in my life because he's about to give me a word. But once I stopped walking, you said the following words to me. Daughter, 
I have called you here for this time. And for many moments to come, what you have done to this point was me preparing you for what you will do from this day forward. You will stand in authority on this platform and minister to the world. So let fear and anxiety go. When I speak to you, no matter where they are in service, step out and follow my lead. Go to the piano, move whoever is on it off if that's what I tell you to do. Go stand in front and sing. And with your own eyes, watch me use your voice and your love for me to bring freedom to those who are bound, peace to those who are distressed, and joy to those who are mourning. Do not one day longer let fear hold you back or question if it is me because when you start moving in me again, the reward will be me moving in the lives of my people. So rejoice, daughter. I have called you and hid you away for my purpose, my timing, and you are mine. Well, <clears throat> needless to say, from that day on, there was a significant change in the way I moved and operated in times of worship standing on this platform. So with that being said, I want to, on behalf of every single congregation member of World Harvest Church Columbus, World Harvest Church Elkhart, and our IHAR family, say thank you. Thank you for every time you got up and spoke a word specifically to one person or to our entire congregation. Thank you for every time you've laid hands on thousands of us for us to receive an impartation that we didn't deserve. And thank you for every time you pulled yourself into the pulpit despite the way you felt and proclaimed the word of the Lord to us. We are forever changed. We are forever grateful. And we want you to know that while you are many things to the nation and to the world, to your church, to all of us, you are our pastor and we love you.